All right, we'll kick it off. Um, to start us off, we'll go with Brad Lewis from News Hub. All good. Thanks, Bella. Hey, Kai, how you doing, bro? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? Good, good, good. Hey, um, I asked Izzy the same question. Uh, the, the bubble, um, what's been challenging about it? Like, um, again, you're a guy that does enjoy a bit of private time. Um, what has been, I guess, the biggest challenge about being stuck with 10 of your best mates for a few days? Um, I guess learning about everyone's um, little annoying habits that do. People that snore, that you want to punch, but um, I don't actually have that problem. I'm in, a, I'm in my own little office studio, so I'm not in the marae where everyone else is sleeping um, on the jiu-jitsu match. So um, yeah, I'm the lucky one. Uh, I didn't. I thought Eugene was gonna pull rank and um, kick me out, but uh, I think I scared him off with my salt lamp and my um, my my vaporizing um, machine. So yeah, so that's how I I got to choose a, the the ensuite with the nice um, windows that have the sunset coming in. So um, yeah, it's been good. It feels like school camp. You know, everyone's kind of excited. Um, you know, we're always in each other's space, go down to the supermarket together. Um, yeah, just pretty much train, eat, sleep, repeat, you know, that's that's on our minds and um, we've got a date set. So um, everyone is um, just motivated and um, um, it's, a, it's an awesome atmosphere to be a part of, um, especially with the craziness that's around us right now. Um, but, you know, for us, we know how to just knuckle down and, and um, Get, get it done and, and uh, it's all business. I've seen in the past, Kai, with team sports, like, like the Kiwis and Rugby League, they get better in tournaments when they spend more time together over the course of the tournament. They bond, they get better. Do you feel that that could be an opportunity for you guys to actually peak at an even higher level come fight night in, uh, what, five weeks' time? Yeah, definitely. We already have um, a pretty strong bond here of uh, brotherhood and um camaraderie but um i think that yeah this will definitely bring us closest together um we're you know midway in our camp but um it's an awesome way to kind of elevate it to that next level especially with um you know massive fights um in front of us you know is he defending his title against an undefeated fighter um you know shane making his comeback after a little bit of a layoff and uh, me and brad trying to um you know um make back back to back um performances um previously fighting at ufc auckland so um, I think it's been about five months since I last competed. Um, feels feels like it's been a while, but um, I feel like now it's the right time. You know, I didn't want to come into a fight camp not ready, and um, that's why I've kind of waited out to see how the rest of the world and how you know everything was kind of working out before I committed to a fight camp, um, just in case you know the fight was cancelled and um, making all that extra effort for um, uh, for not the outcome. So. Now it feels like it's all falling into place and um, yeah, being in, the, in this team environment, you know, everyone's elevating everyone to that next level where they need to be. And um, yeah, I'm excited to just see everyone um, a, a, as myself as well, uh, perform and, and showcase, you know, what we're doing in New Zealand. We're so far ahead um, in the world with um, all our lockdown and, um, you know, we, we thought we were free for a little bit, but um, back to reality where this virus is still out there and, um, We've still got to continue what we've been doing and and that's just you know um the hours done in the gym and um tr listen and trust our coaches eugene Behrman, Behrman, one of the best coaches in the world um city kickboxing one of the best, best teams in the world so um we'll, we'll showcase that uh come september 26. and final one for me dude um you've spent the last couple of fights on the prelims two fantastic fights against two really worthy opponents and now you're sort of fighting yourself on the main card sitting under izzy and potentially the dominic reyes jam Bakovich fight if that does get the um your clear um against the guy who made quick work at tim elliott in his last fight um pretty good opportunity for you in a division that's got a new champ to really have a statement performance almost a breakout performance against a guy who's riding a bit of momentum at the moment giving his last performance yeah, um, he's one and on the UFC for a tough veteran. Tim Elliott got a good win, got a um, nice arm triangle. I feel like Tim really pushed the pace on that fight, um, and that's what was his downfall. Um, Brandon was great, uh, good at um, weathering that storm and finding a way to finish him. Um, for this fight, you know, I know he's going to be. I saw he was training with Alex Perez, another top flyweight contender, someone that I was scheduled to fight. Um, so that you know they're helping each other out, which is 
um, fine with me. You know, you can get all the help you can get, but uh, I train at one of the best gyms in the world with two um, current UFC champions. So um, for me, it's it's um, something I'm just going to stick to stick to our game plan and stick to um, stick to the coach's um, advice. And um, come September 26, I'll be ready. Um, I know he's a black belt jujitsu. Uh, something to respect, but something not to um, to hide away. You know, if, if we go to the ground or in these scramble exchanges, um, I'm more than confident and and happy to be there. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this fight. I know he's um, he's going to be trying to take my spot. I'm ranked number seven in the world right now. He's number ten. Um, you know, I'm not too many fight what fights away from a title shot. So, um, one fight at a time. Just got to continue this momentum. Um, and hopefully after this fight, get a quick turnaround. You know, I don't want to sit on the shelf um, for as long as I have been for five months. I want to um, get back in there as soon as I can. So, hey, Dana White, let's get the UFC back to Auckland. I feel like it's time now. Um, we'll get out of lockdown. We'll get out of this level three. Everything will go back to normal. And I can see it right now, December, all all, all the boys at City Kickboxing and our own hometown card at UFC Auckland to finish the year off the right way. Just created my lead for the day, bro. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, bro. All the best. Cheers, bro. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. We're going to throw to Chris Reeve from New Zealand Herald. Hi, Sue. Hey, Kai. You just touched on it before, um, just how you've been on the shelf for five months and not really wanting to get involved in a fight until, you know, you sort of knew what was going on in the world. Um, when or how, how long ago was it that you kind of decided, all right, um, I it's all right to fight again now. Um, I think it was pretty much after Dan fought. I was like, I want I want that feeling again. Um, and then with Alex as well, you know, backing that up, um, we, we were all pretty pretty itching to go again. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of it's nice that we've all um, ended up on the same card together. It's a lot easier when um, a few boys are on the same card together uh, preparing. Um, and also with, you know, coaches and cornermen dividing their time up together. Um, so this one, you know, just feels right. So wherever the fight is, Dubai or Vegas, um, yeah, we'll be well prepared and, um, ready to, you know, do it once again and, and represent New, New Zealand on that world stage. And seeing what Alex Perez has done after you and him were meant to fight, do you feel like you missed an opportunity by uh, that fight not coming to fruition? Oh, you know, it, we did have a scheduled fight, um, just before we went into that first lockdown after Israel's fight in Vegas. Um, but, you know, these things happen. You can't really dwell on it. And, you know, good for him. Getting a good one against um, a top five guy. And, and now he set, he set himself up for, you know, a potential um, contender title fight against um, Brandon Moreno. So, you know, he's he's done well. But um, we'll be seeing each other soon. Um, anyone in that top five after this fight uh, will be taking. And... Um, yeah, I'm not looking past uh, my my opponent right now. Um, it's uh, just all a part of it, you know. You just gotta look forward to what's in front of you, and um, after that, go go to the next one. So um, we're going to be respecting his game and and what his strengths are, but um, we'll be well prepared, and I feel like my experience um, will help me in this fight a lot. And just finally, from me, can you just uh, share some thoughts on Cody Garbrandt coming down and immediately getting the title shot? Yeah, it's pretty bittersweet, you know. Uh, I wanted to fight Cody. I, I thought it would be a good fight, um, especially making his flyweight debut. Um, you know, he's a big band. He's tall bantamweight. I can't say big. Um, yeah, tall bantamweight, which is the first time fighting at flyweight. So uh, we don't even know if he's going to make weight yet. Um, so yeah, it's, he had a good fight. He threw his right hand, closed his eyes, and, and landed the shot. Um, now he's got a title shot. So I can see what the UFC are doing. They've chosen the bigger names and the bigger draw cards, which is fine. You know, it's going to get more eyes watching our division. Um, but I feel like it's just going to go the same blueprint as what TJ, um, when he fought Cejudo, um, cutting weight for these bigger guys doesn't help them. You know, they Cody doesn't really have a chin um, of, um, from what I've seen on his last performances. You know, he's kind of lost it and um, cutting a bit more weight and then going against a heavy hitter like Figueroa, um, I feel like it's going to be... Um, yeah, a bad night for him, and um, uh, I, I'd I'd love to have that fight after uh, Figueroa retains his title. So um, yeah, it should be a good fight, but um, I can only see it happening and finishing one way, which is uh, by knockout for Figueroa. Sweet man, thank you. All the best.
Thanks, Chris. I'm going to go to Clay Wilson now from Radio New Zealand. G'day, Kai. Um, just talking about having four of you guys on the on this card. Yep. What is the magnitude of that having four guys who are not only Kiwis but you're all teammates as well on a big UFC card like this? Yeah, it's massive. It's it's um, something that we've always kind of um, talked about and and. We, tr we try to get um, these cards happening where we're all on the same card and we're all working together for the same date. Uh, it's just convenient um, for our coaches to um, all be there and and um, in fight camps it, it definitely elevates us to that next level where we need to be in that you know top conditioning and, and physical shape where um, we're only fighting the best in the world. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a it's going to be awesome to be backstage with all the boys and traveling over to where the, where the fights will be, um, either fight, fight Island or in Vegas. Um, yeah, to to have that kind of comfortability in the in the in the locker rooms, going out to step into the um, the stadium, oh, the empty stadium with no crowd, but you know you still get the same feelings. The the goosebumps and the butterflies are still there. Um, and then once you know that cage closes, you you feel so much more confident, knowing that you know you've got all these teammates and all the support around you, that uh, makes you just want to fight that much harder and. Uh, Especially, you know, being Māori and, and coming from Aotearoa and um, representing New Zealand, um, I definitely bring that into the cage. And um, I felt that when I when I last fought at UFC Auckland, you know, having, having that hometown advantage was amazing. Coming up to Poirier, seeing all my friends and family, um, a lot of family that haven't seen me fight before um, for the first time. And, and um, that really helped me uh, to uh, step up to that next level where you need to be just, you know, clear-headed and, um, and um, game face and... It was awesome to you know get the win in front of my hometown. So I'm I'm looking to continue that momentum coming um, September 26 and um, yeah climb the rankings and hopefully you know be one step closer to that UFC flyweight world title. Just in terms of the New Zealand following that you guys have got, with not too much sport going on around the world and in New Zealand, when this card's going to happen next month, do you feel like it's a chance to to get a few more eyeballs and? grow that sort of New Zealand audience even more? Yeah, definitely. We're all about breaking barriers and um, getting through to the mainstream, especially a lot of like rugby heads and, um, you know, mainstream sports. Uh, see combat sport, um, combat athletes and combat sport as, you know, that niche um, niche market where, um, yeah, it's, it's not really that um, well known, but, you know, we're definitely with Israel, you know, leading the way and Alex being a part of our team and Dan and, all these um, guys doing so well. There's definitely a blueprint here of you know the younger generation that are looking up to us, seeing you know how to how to actually pursue this career. Because when you take this as a as a lifestyle, you know it's you got to be all in. You can't um, you, you can't dabble in the sport. You know you're going to get hurt. So um, yeah, we're definitely going to be having a few more eyes on us, um, which is awesome. We welcome that. You know we want to. Um, Get as much people as, as we're watching us and, and all of New Zealand supporting us. You know, when when we win, you guys win as well. So just like when the All Blacks play, you know, it's something to um, to be proud of. And um, we don't take that lightly. We, we feel very privileged to be able to represent and, and especially being Māori, represent New Zealand um, on that world stage means everything to us. I'm sure the, the other guys at the gym, your teammates, have motivated you for a while. But having now Izzy with a title, Alex with a title, Dan being a genuine contender in that stacked lightweight division, what does that do for you? You're a driven person anyway, but does that just only intensify your drive and your belief in what you can do? Exactly. You know, it's all a mindset. Being being around these guys all the time, you know, rubbing shoulders with world champions, you you see the kind of uh, mentality that they have, and they were world champs long before they were, they had the title um, draped around their waist. So. Um, to me, uh, you know, I've, I've always kind of put myself on that um, pedestal where, you know, I've got to be the best version of myself. And um, to do that, you know, I've got to be a complete um, professional and um, make sure in these fight camps, you know, no stones left unturned and I've got to just put everything into it, which um, this is my life and this is what I've dedicated it to. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it's one of these things you just got to be, um, you know, two steps ahead, already thinking about this title fight, you know, visualizing, um, feeling it going to bed every night, you know, dreaming about it, but it's all right in front of me, you know, I'm only two or three fights away from a title shot, being four and one in the UFC, ranked number seven in the world right now, um, ran in the next guy I'm fighting, ranked number 10, um, get past him, he's trying to take my spot, just another win on the column, 
and um, we just keep climbing the rankings and um, hopefully get someone in the next in the top five for my next fight. And just last one from me, what's the process in terms of you guys getting out of New Zealand? Do you need clearance to do that? What sort of things do you have to go do to make sure you can get out of the country? So this is why I've waited a little while to take a fight. Um, Dan was kind of the blueprint of how we would um, go about it. You know, he got out fine and all our coaches got out fine. So there's, there's ways around it and um, we get exemptions from um, from the New Zealand government to, to help us, you know, because we're, we're re representing New Zealand and, um, you know, playing a, playing a professional sport. So um, there's ways around it and um, yeah, I'm glad that I don't want to, uh, the one thing I didn't want to do is, you know, commit to a 10 week fight camp um, and at the end of it, not been able to even leave the country. So um, we we'll still be able to do that. And um, now there'll be four of us with our team as well. So maybe get the private jet to come pick us up if Izzy uh, gives Dana um, a good word. But nah, we're, uh, we're, we're going to have a fun trip and uh, we'll be more than ready. Um, and yeah, just get ready to put on a, one of our best performances yet. All good. Thanks, mate. All the best. Cheers, bro. Thanks, Clay. Just want to check in with Jackson from Stuff. If you've got any questions for Kai. Yes, sorry, can you hear me all right? Yep. What's up, boy? How are you? Yeah, good, mate. How you been? Good, good. Nice lit on you. Great that anniversary vintage and all that, mate. <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> hey, Kai, mate, I just wanted to, for, for those who might not know um, a lot about your opponent, um, obviously you're confident and you're not going to gas him up too much, but what, what, does, it, what does he do well? Um, and what are you expecting uh, come fight night? Yeah, so my um, opponent, Brandon Ravel, um, black belt jiu-jitsu, um, coming off a, a fight of the night performance against Tim Elliott, where he submitted um, submitted him with an arm triangle. So, you know, he's got a dangerous ground. He's he's crafty. Um, he used to fight in um, LFA, where he was the current champ. So I know he's going to be tough. Um, anyone in this flyweight division is tough. You know, my last opponent wasn't ranked in the UFC, but you know, he he everyone's gonna have heavy hands and 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 gas tanks and um, they 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 they're, they're there trying to take your head off, so they want to take my spot, and um, I'm I'm training just as hard, you know, to, to make sure that doesn't happen. So um, he's a lot taller than me, my opponent. Um, but, you know, same that's the same scenario that I'm always in. I'm always a shorter fighter, so it doesn't change too much for me. Um, we're, we're, we're working on game plans that will, um, you know, counter his strengths. But um, in saying that, we're, we'll be sticking to our game plan, which is, um, you know, um, no secret city kickboxing. You know, we, we like to stand and we like to stra um, to trade. And um, at some point, I can see us trading, fighting down on both my uh, both our mouthpieces and, and swinging. Um, I feel like that's been the trend right now with everyone fighting for the first time um, while we've been in lockdown. You know, everyone's just excited to kind of, um, feel that rush and that adrenaline rush that you get when you when you're trading and you're missing punches just by an inch and and you're connecting these l loud shots where um in the in the crowd usually you'd be um masked by the sound but since there's no crowd you know you can feel it and you can hear it um crisp crispy clear so um, I'm looking forward to this fight and um I want to you know I want to live up to my my fight name don't blink and hopefully um put them away. Awesome. And just lastly, you've mentioned a lot about what, you know, the potential of winning this fight and what they could do for you. Fighting down in rankings is always risky. Um, are you nervous at all about, you know, what a potential result, particularly in your division, um, you know, if it weren't to go your way, obviously that, that's an assessment you guys made before taking the fight. Yeah, for me, I'm not, I'm not really too worried about rankings and numbers, you know, in my division, um, you just got to keep winning. That's the way, the fastest way to climb, um, the ladder and, and get to a title shot. So um, four and one right now. Um, not too worried about you know the rankings of of um, of this fight, but um, I know he'll be coming um, to t try to take my head off. So um, uh, we're going to be one step ahead. And um, being in fight camp right now, you know we're living at the gym um, since we got announced at level three. You know we've we quickly grabbed um, our mattresses and our sleeping bags and. Um, um, and, and made our way to the gym because that's just kind of sacrifices you have to do, you know. New Zealand might be closing down for a little while, but the rest of the world isn't. So, um, you know, the, the the job's still in front of us and the, the date's set. So we knew we had to, to come here and, um, you know, now we're just training, eat, eat sleep, repeat at the gym. And um, it's a great atmosphere to be a part of, you know, having all the boys, um, 
you know, working towards one goal now um, and, and really pushing each other. We know what's expected of us. And um, yeah, now, now it's, uh, it's awesome just to continue like, you, like the usual, having, um, not having the comforts of home, but um, still be able to get this working. Cheers, bro. Appreciate it. Good luck, man. Cheers, bro.